Hi, my name is Alan Hutchinson. I'm the lead pastor here at First Church of God. And you're watching this series that we've created to help really introduce to you to who we are here at First Church of God. We call it First in Five. <clears throat> this is the fifth in a series of videos that just helps you get to know who we are. So one of the questions we have is, how do I grow as a Christian? So once you've decided to find a local church, you want it to be your church home, the obvious question many of us deal with is, how do we grow? How do we develop? How do we mature? Well, first of all, <clears throat> I want you to remember, that's what Jesus calls us to. He calls us to what we call a life of discipleship. You and I are to be disciples of Christ, followers of Christ. And when we talk about being a follower of Christ, we're not just talking about walking where he walked or walking behind him. We're talking about walking as he did. So the actions and activity that we see in Jesus' life, the things that were important in his life, should become <clears throat> the primary things that we focus on in ours. Now, one of the places I start in helping people understand this discipling walk with God and growing as a Christian is Bible study understanding the Word of God. <clears throat> Here at First Church of God, we believe that the Bible is trustworthy and it is central to everything that we do. In the Bible, we find some of the most fascinating events and stories that are true and they're there for us to learn and to grow and help build and develop our faith. Because when we see God working through people in Scripture, then we understand that He wants to work through us as well. Bible study is important every day. You know, uh, Jesus said, man doesn't live by bread alone, but on every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. So it is spiritual food for our souls. It's how we grow. Uh, basically, with the number of chapters there are in the Bible, if you read three chapters a day, you pretty much read through the entire Bible in one year. Now, I recommend people slow down. So rather than try to speed read through Scripture, I would like to put you in sections of Scripture where you can really study and learn, mainly starting with the life of Christ and the Gospel of John the impact of Jesus' life in the Gospel of Luke, the history of the early church and the book of Acts. Those are three great places to start in understanding God's Word in our life. Another way we grow as a Christian is through prayer. Prayer is nothing more than our communication with God. And when we pray, we're not trying to talk God into something. What we're doing is we're saying, God, here we are, and we want to align our will with your will. Because in the divine scheme of things, what we find is prayer doesn't change people or the situation as much as it changes us. So being in that constant prayer time with God or having a consistent quiet time with the Lord every day is key to building that relationship with the Lord. Of course, church attendance, <clears throat> being in Sunday morning services, worshiping together, that's how we grow as believers because we worship together and we grow together with other believers. Uh, it's important to be in a discipleship, a, a group setting with discipleship. We have many of those available. It's important to walk with others through uh, other affinity uh, uh experiences that we have. Maybe you want to be in a hiking group or a fishing group or a group that <clears throat> is into bowling or walking or you name it. There's so many out there, but again, we're building relationships together. So that's important in growing as a Christian is in growing relationship with each other. Also, we practice stewardship. <clears throat> stewardship simply means we understand that God has made us the manager of all the blessings that he's given us in our life. So he has given us time, talent, and income. And of those things God's blessed us with, he wants us to be a good manager. In other words, he wants us to invest them well. So my time that I give in serving the Lord, my talent that I use in helping others, my income that God has given to me, I want to be investing that into the life of the church to help people grow. Now, one of the things we do when we talk about Christian giving is to grow as a Christian, <clears throat> I'm going to be giving back as a result of what God has given to me. We call that tithing. I always like to call it investing because that's really what you're doing. You're not giving to an organization. You're really giving to or investing in the work of the church in our community. So that's really important in your growth process, recognizing that God is the owner and we're the managers. And finally, everyone needs a place where they can serve. As a matter of fact, God has created you and me to serve. We feel closest to God when we're serving. Now, why is that? It's because Jesus tells us in Scripture that the Son of Man has not come to be served, but to serve others and to give his life a ransom for many. 
So there is something within you and me that really does well in growing as a Christian when we know we're helping others and we're serving with other people. The way we do that is we want to help you discover your spiritual gifts. <clears throat> and we give a spiritual gifts test here at church, and you can find it in our resource page online and in social media that will help you find what that gift is that you have. And then once you identify it, we'll help find a ministry uh, or a place where you can serve and help people in ministry. And uh, that's how we grow. That's how we process because we're living like Jesus lived. Jesus was always into the Word of God. He is the Word of God. Jesus taught his disciples to pray because he knew prayer was the avenue to be with the Heavenly Father. Jesus always was with people in the synagogue in times of worship. Jesus always was participating in groups with his disciples. He knew what stewardship of life was about. He always gave. He was always serving. And he was always ministering. So guys, that's how we grow as a Christian. We live the life that Christ has lived before us. If you need any more information about this, please sure, be sure and let us know in the church office. Uh, let me know personally, and we'll talk to you more about that. God bless you.